This is a portal. This is a portal. Okay, so let's talk about social media in this generation. The effects of social media on this generation and we're not necessarily talking about um, the effects of it on the unbeliever. We're talking about the effects of it on the Christian because that's what really matters. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so in this in this generation um, with the young Christian um, it can be hard to overcome the temptation of social media um, not to say that we shouldn't have social media because obviously I have social media but there can you know like a rapper like oh these are the side effects of what you're about to use what you're about to consume you're about to consume some things if you come on here and you don't navigate the right way, you can position yourself to consume some things. So I'm going to reveal to you the side effects of this um, product. So with social media, so one of the things that I wanted to highlight before we even get into everything, um, the internet with like when the internet came out, it's open a huge door in society as a whole and it gave everyone a certain amount of access to information that they necessarily should not have it gave man access to information that they should not have had and we see like a replica of this in the garden in genesis with adam and eve and Eve is tempted by the serpent to go and enlighten herself with this tree of the knowledge of good and evil. She was not supposed to eat from this tree. She was not supposed to even touch this tree. But she went and she did it. Curiosity, other things. But she 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 went and she and she did this and it opened up her um her knowledge of good and evil. Now evil is not in the world. Now evil then it it came into the world and so the internet when the internet came out it was the 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 modern day uh tree of knowledge of good and evil oh no you are not supposed to have access just you know for a, a tap of a button you can just have access to anything anything you want to find out and that's why it, like your phone can be such a weapon like it can be a weapon that the enemy will use against you because if you don't if you don't use it like because everything we have is supposed to be to glorify god so if i'm not using this to glorify god then this becomes as it says in matthew if your right hand offends you cut it off so this becomes a problem it becomes it, it, it starts to offend my faith so in in modern day the enemy uses the uh, uses the internet he uses social media in order to like i said it, it can be used as a weapon because there are things on here that uh can damn you on here on here you have access to things that you should not have access to i did a video before on facebook and i titled it hell at your fingertips oh no in here i have access to all the things that put people in hell have access to um i have access to lots of things on here i have access to lots of bad vulgar things on this so on this device and there's nothing that prohibits me in looking at it there's nothing that prohibits me in um in reading it there's nothing that no no my desires the, the heart of man is desperately wicked and the phone the cell phone and the social media it gives it's, it's everybody transmitting their desires to one place on social media everybody from you can talk to anybody across the world everybody's communicating and um yeah you talk to everyone you can talk they, they created a way with the internet with social media they created a way for everybody to communicate with everyone and every guess what everyone is doing everybody's communicating their thoughts and their desires the desires that are in their heart but the desires that are in our hearts are wicked and evil so with so it but but and, and so everybody's sharing them 
everybody's fulfilling their, the lust of their flesh, the lust of the eye, the pride of life. Everybody's fulfilling that here on social media. So that's why it become it can be it, it can be so dangerous to your faith because now on, on now 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 you are positioned now you are positioned to be enticed just by logging into Facebook, just by logging into Instagram, just by logging into Twitter. You know, just by doing that, you you, you know you you position yourself to be enticed. Now, like I said, that's not saying we should not have these things, but that's saying that we have to know how to navigate through them for the glory of God or else this this device will be a weapon used against your faith so let's get into some of the ways that this specifically affects the Christian how this how this how, how social media specifically affects the Christian the believer how does it affect the young believer how does it affect us because one of the things I want to talk before before we get into that so, so this is in this generation is where I grew up and like I, I was a kid and I became an adult and in that time of you know teens and things like that um, it, it was 90% revolved around this it was 90% revolved around Instagram Facebook MySpace it was it was revolved around that I would literally be in my room for hours just on this device and I, and, and if you were coming to me and say well, you, you, you haven't been doing anything for hours, my brain has been doing lots and lots of things for hours. So it doesn't seem like I haven't been doing anything. Like, oh no, I, I'm ex actually exhausted. Like I've been doing a lot. It's, it's been a lot going on because there's so much that there that is true. There's so much going on because this is a portal. This is a portal. This is a portal. And when you open it, you now are in another realm. You're now in another world. And you have to know how to navigate through that world. So, so yeah, so coming up, coming up in this generation, you may be able to, you know, attest to the same thing. Like it, this is what we, this is all we knew. It's all we, yeah, this is all we knew. And going into one of my points, I guess I can make that the first point. Because this is all we knew growing up, it became a part of like it became a part of you you could say that it probably became a part of you. you don't really know who you are outside of this you don't know who you are outside of the likes you don't know who you are outside of the shares you don't know who you are outside of the the, the followers you don't know who you are you know you found your identity in this you found your identity in posting pictures so 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 whereas information should have been coming from the lord if you you've been getting affirmation for 12 years 18 years you've been getting affirmation from others from worldly people you've been getting affirmation from worldly people and so in the lord now you have to switch from that and learn how to get affirmation from the lord because because with whatever uh we decide to gain from you know that's the price you're gonna have to pay so if i want to you know obtain riches and obtain status and obtain you know i want to be this on social media i want to do that if i do that there's a price there's a heavy price that i'm gonna play and you see that based off of the uh the christian the Christian, the so-called Christian people, there are all these platforms. They are what? They are lukewarm. They're lukewarm. How is it that they're lukewarm? Because they don't know how to differentiate work from like like they, they don't they don't know how to they, they don't have they don't they don't know how to navigate through this. So they, they still have some they still have worldliness in them. And I'm not saying that we don't as Christians we have worldliness still worldliness still in us. We do, but the, and the Lord has sanctified us of that. But it's different when you are up here the higher you go whether that's you know like the higher you, the higher you go as far as influence then the more you're now held accountable for it. so these people now they with the, with this measure of influence they 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 and, and yet yeah, they're lukewarm it affects you it affects you because when you see it on social media you say oh maybe you know it, it gets your brain running and it brings confusion which is why you have to be so deep in the word of god so as I was saying, so the identity issue, the identity issue, it can be, it, 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 when you when you come from this, when, when this is all you've known, when social media is all you've known, then it can, like, it, like it's an identity issue. You don't really know how to operate through this, through this world without it. And that's a problem because that becomes an idol. That can, that can breach your access to the Lord because this is what you desire to have. So yeah. This is what you desire to have. This is what you this is what you've known to be. Like this is a part of your person. 
and we have to learn how to how to, to not let that be so um, comparison 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 then comparison I don't know about you but before I was saved there like and it still is this way but you know I would I would be on these platforms and you know who, who gets the most likes and who you know can always comparing all oh, this this person's pictures like that they, they use this filter they use this edit you know from middle school up into high school from elementary school like like oh this person used like oh okay you know when they first got the when, I, when Instagram was like newly and fresh you know and they had the filters like oh I want to use this filter oh this person poses like this I want to pose like that you know oh, this person oh look at that person's caption I'm gonna use that caption but you know I'm, I'm gonna make my picture look better than hers you know the always the sense of comparison always always competing always competing always competing you know you're prideful you're always competing so that is uh, that is that is an effect that is a that is a, an effect on the christian because that is one of the uh doors in which the enemy will try to use um to come through you know even among christians comparison who has the most wisdom who has like 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 always competing always competing like the word of god talk the word of god says they that compare themselves among themselves are not wise they are foolish because you operate in this one nineteen. you operate in this and you have this gift you have this gift no but it's all one body but you have to understand how it works like like every joint must supply every joint must supply so i can't be on here comparing myself and i especially should not be comparing myself with the worldly the word of god is david uh, talk to the Lord about that. Like, I, I, he, I'm sorry, Lord, for for thinking that you know the wicked were better than me. Like, I, like thinking that the wicked life, the wicked life of the unbeliever, was better than the life that you gave me. You know, now I understand that you preserved the wicked. Now I understand that you only created the wicked for the day of judgment. Now I understand your ways, God. So that should not be. You should not be on here competing with anyone because you. This is this is work. This is work. You should be on here. You should be on here glorifying the Lord. Like your page. Your, like all of it should be to glorify, to make Jesus known, to, to, to bring people to repentance. Because people are dying. Like they're like they they not they may not be dead already, but before a person is physically dead, they are dead in the spirit. And so this this whole uh social media and everything, it's a way for you to extend the gospel of repentance to others compromise compromise here within social media it can entice you it can uh make you want to compromise why because you see the effects you see you see the the product of compromise we don't say that but that's what we believe it can be as simple as oh this person dresses this person dresses this way oh i see that 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 gets them this type of attention i want that attention that they're getting but the only way i can get that attention is if i do what they do so we may not go full out and you know blaspheme god but we may do other things little things little compromise that still flows the vine we may still do things that god is not pleased with you know still compromising in um certain areas it's easy for you to uh be tossed. See the bird you be tossed. One the one way that we fight against compromise is by standing firm in your faith. Oh no. Um, the word of God says, always be ready to give an answer for the hope that is in you. Oh no, I believe this. Make your calling your election sure. I believe this. I'm standing on this. My my foundation is firm. My foundation is firm. I'm not changing what I believe. I'm not changing what I say because what I say is what Jesus said. And if you don't believe what I say, then you don't believe what Jesus said because I'm saying exactly what he said. I'm saying exactly what he said. If you don't want to submit to that, then that's not for you. Like this and then it's not for you. Jesus would preach all the time and there would be those who believe outwardly and then you there would be those who believe inwardly Oh, no, I really believe rather than you have the fans and they really just are saying that they believe Because they like the healing and they like the things like that, but they don't really want to follow God The things that you take in so yeah, so the thing so the word of God says that the light of the body is the eye And what I want to make known is that what we take in affects us and you may say well I don't see that it's affecting me 
but it's gonna affect you in the right moment the right situation is gonna be just perfect and the situation is gonna be perfect and what you take it in is going to come out it's gonna come out because sin is not designed to be contained sin is not designed to be contained it is a if you keep feeding the monster it's going to break out and it's going to reveal itself to others it's going to it's go, no it's gonna no it's gonna show forth oh no Th that was in you the whole time but now it's gonna it's gonna reveal itself so what we take in affects what we do it affects our decisions it affects our perspective it it affects our obedience to god and so the so when i take in garbage when i take in and what is garbage like looking at like like looking at vanity looking at this this person with no clothes like look, look like looking just looking at things that 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 have the potential to uh entice you we normally look at things that we agree with um we pay attention to things that we agree with and that affects you because if i'm constantly taking in what i what i what i what i like but what but, but god doesn't like it, i'm going to eventually walk in that i'm going to eventually want to do that it's not like like oh like like it's not just I, I, the, the monster is not going to be content with just being behind a computer. No, I want to live. I want to. I want to do this. I want to actually do this. So we have to be careful what we allow in our eyes, what we place our eyes on, because it does affect us in a major way. It affects you in a major way. It affects you in a major way. You know, you you read the Bible and you pray and everything, but when you come on here on this social media, everything that you just take just took in is being diminished because. You're taking in all this filth and all this garbage, you know, letting you, you just came from church and you're letting the you, you leave out church. You're letting the birds of the air just pluck out all the all the knowledge, all, everything that you everything that you just take took in. And lastly, but not least, the word of God talks about knowing people by their fruit, knowing people by their fruit. What about talks about this? You need to know that you're going to know a person by what they produce here on these social media platforms. Everybody can pretend to be this because you know you have a profile you can put whatever profile picture you want but you can put your bio as this you know you can put your post as this you can put your cover photo as this you can be whatever you want to be and nobody knows you and people don't have to know you outside of this to believe what you present yourself to be but the word of god says that you'll know them by their fruit so oh no you post worldly stuff because you like worldly stuff that's it it's that simple is that simple our pages our facebook pages and everything like that those things are uh extensions of who we are so you may say oh you can't judge me based off of this you can't judge but you you made that that why because that's in your heart out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks so it wasn't simply a joke that you posted no you really you believe that that's the way that's what that you think so so we need not to meet things um at the eye but to take it at its actions don't take it by its word take it at, take it by its actions oh no you do these things you do these things the word of god said that i'm gonna know you by your fruit you produce this in like a, on a tree it can't be good and bad fruit like no 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 it's gonna either produce good fruit or it's gonna produce bad fruit and i'm gonna and you, you're gonna know this is gonna be evident but here on the, that's why the word of god talks about false prophets so much because there it says that they 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 put themselves in sheep's clothing because we are the sheep of the lord but they are inside they're ravening wolves they're rattling wolves like no they're they're not what they seem to be they're not what they seem to be so be careful who you follow be careful who you follow be, be careful who you um entertain be careful be careful be careful be careful because people have things on their lives and if you are not able to discern discern meaning um able to hold it the hold the light at like hold it at the wisdom like being able to to see through like being able to see through the garbage being able to see through the nice page being able to see through that like oh no i see i see what you are i i, I know what you are i see it i see it i see it that's pride that's right. That's the, that's the lesson of the eye, you know. So, like this whole internet thing, it's the it's a it's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And if you don't use it correctly, the devil is gonna use it against you. He's gonna use it against you. So, until next time.